Hi guys! Today's video is a book review of Room by Emma Donoghue. I read this book last year but I've been meaning to review it for quite some time because it's an absolutely fantastic book and I really want to recommend it to you guys. This is the second book that I read by Emma Donoghue and I absolutely love her writing style. She's, she's a really phenomenal author. Her writing is very distinctive to her and in particular in Room it is written from a slightly unusual perspective which makes it an interesting read. The story is told from the perspective of a five-year-old boy. In fact, the very first sentence of this book is, Today, I am five. Now, this little boy has had a, a somewhat strange upbringing. He has spent his entire life in a single room. He and his mother have never left this room within his lifetime, although his mother has been outside the room. He has not. The, everything that is in the room is all that he knows, and he knows nothing of what goes on outside. They do sometimes watch television, so he has been exposed to the outside world, but his mother, to protect him because she knows he can never experience it, has let him think that that is all just make-believe and not real. I don't want to tell you any more about the plot because it's a really, really good story and I don't want to spoil anything for you. Although the first half is incredibly intriguing and fascinating and moving, it can seem a little bit repetitive, but I have to assure you that in the middle of the book, um, the book is split into two parts, part one and part two, and in the middle there is a event which kind of changes things. So there is more to this book than initially meets the eye. It isn't just purely the story of this little boy and his everyday life in the room. I don't know if it was reading it from the little boy's perspective or um, just Emma Donoghue's excellent writing style, um, but this story actually made me cry at some points. It was very emotional and um, kept kept you guessing what was going to happen and you really cared about the, the main characters, the little boy and his mother. It's not too lot far into the book when you discover what's going on and why they live in this room and um, I just think it was a really interesting concept for uh, the, the author to write about and also from um, the perspective of this five-year-old child gives you a really interesting insight and interesting vision of the events um, it makes it more mysterious because obviously as a young child he doesn't fully understand what's going on but you kind of pick up on the clues before he does and they really shock and move you and yeah I just thought this was an absolutely stunning book and I just really really wanted to recommend it to some of you who haven't read it yet. It's an unusual perspective to get used to reading from the perspective of such a young child but you will, you will manage and by the end of it it will seem like second nature. You will be surprised by the next book you pick up when it's not from a child's perspective, it will seem weird. I hope some of you pick up this book and I hope you enjoy it. I will see you all again very soon. Bye guys!